Hi dears, this is Raji. In this video, we are going to discuss the lone pair effect of ammonia. It's a very simple concept and if you understand what is it, you will be able to answer these many board questions. Okay, so please listen. Uh, in order to understand that, we have taken a test tube and as you can see, yeah, here we have a yeah, little bit of water also. After some time, we are going to pass ammonia gas into water. So first write water. Water, I am writing it as HOH. Why? Because yeah, this is the electron of hydrogen and this is the electron of oxygen. They have shared uh, both this electron and staying happily there. By that time only who is entering the solution? Yeah, like uh, ammonia gas. We are passing ammonia gas into water. And this is the structure of ammonia. Along with that, nitrogen has got a pair of electron which is not involved in bonding. And we call it as lone pair of electron. Correct? Yes. And now what will happen? See, while seeing ammonia, hydrogen is getting fascinated, okay, and is going behind ammonia. See, it was so excited that it is uh, forgetting to take, yeah, it's on electron, correct, no? So what will happen? Yeah, see, it will be coming into the solution as H plus ion. At the same time, OH is getting an extra electron, see, the electron of a hydrogen also. So as a result of that, yeah, one more ion will be formed in the solution, OH minus ion, and we call it as hydrogen hydroxide ion or hydroxyl ion okay hydroxide ion clear then now after getting into that solution as h plus ion only yeah it realizes that oh i i can't exist independently like this so who is helping h plus ion that lone pair of electron that is present on nitrogen so nitrogen being so generous okay yeah it is donating that pair of electron to h plus ion you might have uh, learned already right one more time and see whenever yeah a pair of electron is donated by a single atom to form a covalent bond okay yeah that type of bond we call it as coordinate bond correct no okay yeah so this is what we call as yeah coordinate bond how we will represent it only to show that like uh, see this is electron pair is donated by nitrogen no so we will uh, put that covalent bond in the form of an arrow this is what we call as a coordinate bond clear no okay yeah and see hydrogen is bringing an extra proton also the entire thing we will put it in a bracket and will give that extra uh, will show that extra proton as positive charge single positive charge so this is what we call as nh4 plus ion we will write Along with that, in the solution, who is forming? OH minus ion. Hydroxide ion also is forming. Clear, no? So, only this much if you can understand, like, uh, see, uh, that you, you will be able to answer the, uh, that board question, which is present in the next page. Clear, no? So, the question is that, yeah, that, uh, see, what is responsible for the formation of ammonium ion? Because nitrogen was, yeah, capable of donating that pair of electron. And that effect is known as lone pair effect. Correct? It is known as lone pair effect. Along with that, one more thing will happen in that solution. Okay, yeah, OH minus ion is also produced. Okay, yeah, presence of hydroxyl ion in the solution will make the solution basic. Okay, yeah, now read the question. Yeah, how soluble is ammonia in water? Okay, yeah, how soluble is ammonia in water? It is highly soluble. We know that. Okay, yeah, now see the next question. Which feature of ammonia molecule lead to the formation of ammonium ion when ammonia dissolves in water? Which feature of ammonia? Ammonia has got a pair of electron. Correct, no? Okay, yeah. So, that is, yeah. Like, uh, see, the lone pair that is present on nitrogen is responsible for the formation of ammonium ion. You can write that also. Okay, yeah. Then, read the next question. Name the other ion formed when ammonia dissolves in water. Which is the other ion along with ammonium ion? Okay. Okay, yeah, that is OH minus ion or hydroxyl ions. Correct. Yeah. Then next one. Give one test that can be used to detect the presence of ion produced in water. They are asking that whenever ammonia gas is passed into water. Okay. Yeah. They are asking that like uh, see what will happen to that solution. So we should understand and remember that the solution will become basic. What is the reason? Because of the formation of hydroxyl ion. Okay. Yeah. See which test you will write for that. See this one. Okay. Yeah. This is what we call as a litmus test. Okay. Yeah. So if the solution is basic and if you are inserting a red litmus paper into that it will be turning blue okay you can write like that then we can confirm that the solution is basic now see this test this is what we call as methyl orange test if you are adding a methyl orange indicator into basic solution what will be the change in color yeah the solution will be turning yellow in color okay thanks for watching see you in the next video